When it caught on fire, it just go puff and be gone. Puff and be gone. Right. So that's how, all right. The way to prove that lie is in the documents I was talking about. National like Institute scenario. of Science and Technology. Can you repeat what you said about the jet fuel? In the 1970s, many Americans can recall how many people were losing their lives in fiery jet crashes. They would burn, burn, and burn. So the Federal Aviation Authority mandated that all jet fuel be reformulated so that if ever exploded, it would just go poof the charcoal and be gone, like as instantaneously you want the you want the as oh, yeah, yeah. possible with the physics involved. Okay. If we want to challenge the lies that we believe we're being told, we have to pursue the truth. We have to pursue the truth where they lead us. And where they lead us is people that know how to read and do the schoolwork. You know what I'm saying? Oh, exactly. All saying. right, the, the engineering, the architecture, all that stuff is where the pursuit of the f truth lies after this step. Okay. Because the NIST study was used to publish this book of lies. Can I just laugh?